Welcome back graduates. Today I want to show you about Shopify Anchor Links. And what that means is if you're on a product page or a collection page, even on the home page, what you can do is you can have your customer skip to a certain section of the Shopify page that you want them to uh, view. And what that means is going down here, let's say for example, I have a rich text and then I click on this button, it's gonna snap into a certain section of Shopify that I want my customers to view. So that led me to the collapsible row, which is the FAQ and um, it, it anchor linked to that certain section and, and you can see that it just snapped into place right here. The benefit of this is just delivering, um, you know, uh, your benefits or features of that product. Uh, this does work if you have more uh, information um, for your product page or whatever page you are on. If, it, if it's a very long page, then yes, um, this would um, pretty much benefit you. But if you have a product page that just has your product images, your add to cart, and then also a uh, recommended for you, this won't this won't work, you know, as well because you need a long form in order for you know it to work. Um, usually so how this works is um, what I'm gonna do for uh, example purposes I'm going to change it up and I'm gonna add it for the multimedia collage so what I want is this button to be snapped into the multimedia collage um, instead of the FAQ and how to do that when I'm out of my preview state, I'm gonna go out and uh, see what it looks like um, on, on my online store and then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna inspect my elements so right over here is going to be my little tiny, you know, cursor hover state. And I'm going to hover over this and I don't want the title. I don't want this title. Uh, and you can start seeing that uh, the class is co uh, collage wrapper. The, uh, there's a button color. There's a page width uh, with this. Uh, so, for example, you do want uh, the Shopify template and the number, uh, but you don't need the page width. You want an ID. So right over here, I'm seeing that this is a class. I want this to be an ID. So I'm just going to screw all the way up. And now I see that this is the ID uh, for this section. I do not want this section because you'll start seeing that it hovers over the previous section or the after section before. So this is the uh, section that I want. This is the ID um, that I want. So I'm going to copy and paste that uh, right here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my theme, uh, my my dashboard already over here and I'm going to go into my buttons because I want the button to be linked anchor linked to that certain section so right now it goes to a different um, section so I'm just going to hover over that delete it and before I even copy and paste I'm going to add a pound sign or a hashtag and I'm gonna paste that new uh, link in there the new Shopify section template ID in there and I'm gonna click Save after that, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna preview this by clicking preview. And now I can go into my twice as strong cold brew. If that was my product, twice as strong cold brew and give Shopify a little bit to update. Um, it has been a little bit slow. Uh, scrolling down here now, uh, if I hover over, I should at the very bottom see where it's gonna be going to. It says Shopify template and that ID number. So I changed it up to hopefully go to the multimedia uh, collage and it does uh, so this works the same logic on again like any other page and what you're gonna do is go on live store right click inspect elements and then find that first find the first Shopify section templates wherever that may be so that would be this one right here and not this one and not the one after so it's whatever one that's uh, full highlighted and then you're gonna put a pound sign or a hashtag right before and then it's gonna anchor to that text now one thing to take note is you can't anchor to another page it's only anchoring to another segment of that page so you can't uh, take a section and uh, have it anchor to the home page it has to be within that page I hope this did help thank you so much and if you uh, like this video and like these uh, tips definitely comment like and subscribe thank you